It would be too little too late for the now 7-3 Vandals as Idaho fell to visiting WAC rival Fresno State 31-21. A 77-yard opening kick return for a touchdown by Fresno State star running back Ryan Matthews put the Bulldogs up early in the first quarter. With starting quarterback junior Nate Enderley out with an injury, the Idaho Vandals struggled to find their offensive rhythm in the first half. The Vandals failed to find the end zone, going into the locker room down 24-0. Vandals got their first touchdown late into the third quarter. Sophomore quarterback Brian Reeder connected with senior Max Komar, putting the Vandals on the board 24-7. It was the spark the Vandals needed to go on their offensive strike. The Vandals would score again in less than eight minutes. Looking for an open man, Reeder found a big hole and rushed for a touchdown. He then successfully completed a two-point conversion, connecting with junior wide receiver Eric Greenwood. Idaho would score again before time expired. Reader connected with junior Marie Shaw on a 69-yard pass. A failed two-point conversion put the Vandals down by 10. With 23 seconds left in the game, the Vandals successfully retrieved an onside kick, but an end-of-the-game push would not be enough for the Vandals. Although Idaho would lead Fresno State in total offensive yards, the Vandals were plagued by penalties in the game. Idaho now sits fourth in the WAC with a record of 4-2. and two. Idaho plays at Boise Saturday. The game is nationally televised on ESPNU, game time 1.30 Mountain, 2.30 Pacific. For the Argonaut Online, I'm Jenna Robinson.